if you are looking for information for example how to write dubai cvs how to search for jobs on visti visa which companies employ africans where to buy authentic and cheap items places to travel to tour when you come to dubai this is the right channel for you welcome please guys let's subscribe give this video a like and share my videos why not hi hi everyone <laughs> hi guys how are you doing i'll close this door because i don't like the sound from there welcome to my youtube channel welcome to the winning team for the new subscribers mm, mm, thank you so much for subscribing we are on the road to 10 000, uh, to five <laughs> hey to 5,000 subscribers today it's going to be a sit down video just because I have a number of uh, a number of questions from subscribers and I decided to just pick out one because this question that I picked out will summarize a number of the other questions so one lady asked me joy should I come to Dubai on a visti visa what are the advantages and disadvantages of coming on a visti visa and then she went ahead and said what are the advantages of coming through a company and the disadvantages so before i say anything before i go any further my dear if you're coming on visti visa it's a yes from me because i personally came on visti visa the advantages of coming on a visti visa according to my experience how to weigh the disadvantages so i'll just sit down right here and explain to you some of okay i'll be just i didn't write them down i'll just say according to my experience before i start the next video i'm going to talk about how you can search for a job when you are on visti visa i'm going to tell you all the tricks of searching for a job when you are on visti visa here in dubai because again i have many questions someone is like okay joy i'm here in dubai what's next how should i search for a job same question like over 10 people so it's better i make a video first of all one advantage of the visti visa is right now the visti visas are not expensive as they used to be Secondly, the visit visas now, they are three months and you can extend your visit visa. You can extend, which used not to happen before it was two months and then it was also costly. And then also if you want to extend your visit visa before, you have to make exit, meaning you have to buy a ticket and go outside of the country and again come back. Two, when you are on Visti Visa, you can get a number of jobs and you have a choice. You have a choice. For example, non-skilled jobs. We will talk about security, we will talk about customer care, we will talk about working in the bus, in the school bus as a bus nanny or a bus conductor or a bus supervisor. Then we have a waitress and waiters. Then we have which other jobs? Maids. Then we have drive driving jobs. In skilled, I mean, like you don't need to have a, a PhD, you don't need to have a degree for you to do those kinds of those kind of jobs. When you on Visti visa, when you go to sign a contract with with any company, you read through the terms and conditions. So after reading through the, the terms and conditions, you sign. Meaning you've understood the terms and conditions, you've understood everything that they have told you, like the rules of the job, the timings, how you're supposed to behave, how you're supposed to relate with your fellow colleagues, everything. Then you say, okay, I joy accept. You sign the contract. The other advantage of coming to university visa, for example, if you applied and they called you for an interview. Maybe you applied online and they called you for an interview. If you're here within the country, it's very, very easy. And unlike some companies, for example, Emirates Airline, they they really they can give you an interview online, like 
on like on Skype if you're out of your country. But most of the the companies want when you're here on the ground, like to give you a job. Even if you, you apply from your country, they want you to be here on the ground. And the other advantage is you can you have a chance to negotiate salary. For example, when you go for an interview, you you on the ground with the recruiter. He will ask you how much are you expecting to get. You have a choice to you know to um, a chance to you know to explain as in to negotiate the money you want this amount of money. The other th advantage of coming on a visit visa, if you fail to get in your field that you studied maybe in your country, you have. We have other options. We have other options. Me, personally, I'm a social worker. I'm a graduate. So I thought maybe I would be a social worker, you know. But when I reached here, eh, I had to change. My wife searching for jobs. <laughs> I'll give you all that information in the next video. Then let's talk about the walk-in interviews. Guys, you have a chance of the walk-in interviews. Mm -hmm. Like here, you, you can have one walking interview, the other place you can have another walking interview, the other place you can have a walking interview, whereby you're just here on the ground. So let me tell you the disadvantages of a visit visa. One, you may come and you don't get a job in the first three months. Yes, you will ask me, oh Joy, three months are too many, my dear. If one month can go just in a minute, second month can go just in a flash. So you may come here and don't get a job. And you'll be disappointed, you feel frustrated, then you'll just resort to something else. The other disadvantage of a VST visa, when you don't get a job in the first three months, that means you have to uh, incur more costs, meaning you have to extend your visa. You have to add in more money. Then let me talk about the companies that bring people direct here. What are the advantages? One advantage that I know, you when you're coming here through a company, you're coming direct as in direct on a job. So meaning they provide where you'll stay, they provide the transportation. Yes. That's the only one advantage that I can talk about it. So the disadvantages of coming through a company. One, when you are in your country and you sign a contract with this company, for example, you may sign that you're coming to work as a, a salesperson in a certain company. And when you reach here, you're taken into cleaning. But the money that you paid in your country for that particular job was in thousands of dollars. Another disadvantage of coming through a company, it's the company that signs the terms and conditions on your behalf. So you don't know if the terms are favoring you, so you just, you know, you just have to come because they have already signed on your behalf. You don't know how to, what are the rules of the job? They just, you know, briefly just tell you. But when you reach on the ground, that's when you can know that, oh, okay. So it's like this. These are the working hours. 12 hours. But they told us 8 hours. You know? Then the other disadvantage is, the truth is, companies that bring people are expensive compared to VST Visa. VST Visa, you will pay for your ticket fine. You will pay for the visa, which is now cheap, fine. And then you will pay for the bed space. Bed space now, 300 dirhams per month. 350. 250, actually, it depends on where you are. Go to Sharjah. Bed space is 250 dirhams. 200 dirhams. In Abu Dhabi town, the upper bed is 250. In Dubai, it's the same. Actually, in Dubai, the downer bed is even only 300 or 400. I made a video about that. So, <sighs> the, what I can only say is, yes. My dear, the one who wrote for me that email, when she was asking me whether she should come on Visti Visa, uh, what are the advantages and the disadvantages, 
I'm telling you the only option is coming on Visti Visa. I also came on Visti Visa here to search for a job. So anyway, guys, I have to sign out. Please subscribe. Hmm? Let at least this month let's reach uh, 5k, then 6k, then 10k. <laughs> so guys, let's meet later on. I'm cooking, so I have to go to the kitchen. Bye. See ya. Bye, guys. You hear that sound? I'm cooking. So, guys, thank you for subscribing. Please, please, subscribe. Subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. Love you all. God bless you all. Bye-bye. I have to go.